Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Tech Coders, and today we are going to solve problem number one eight seven three G of Code Forces, that is A B B C or B A C B. Okay, so the part of Code Forces round eight ninety eight division four. Let's understand what question is basically stating to us. Question states that you are given a string S made up of characters A and B. Initially, you have no coins. Okay, you can perform two types of operation. Either you pick substring A B and change it to B C and get a coin, or either you pick B A and change it to C B and get a coin. And we have to perform this operation in such a manner that the resultant number of coins should be maximum. Okay, it should be maximum. So let's understand this question with the help of an examples. Okay, so for the understanding part, let us suppose that the given string is this. That is A B A B. Okay, so I'll take this A B and and I'll change this to B C. Now I'll take this A B and I'll change this to B C. Okay. I have done two operations over here. This is the first. This is the second. So the number of points over here would be two. Let us suppose that we are having a string as a a b a b. Okay. What will be my operation? At first, I'll take this one and I'll change it as a b c a b. Then I'll take this one. I'll change it as b c c a b. Then I'll take this one and change it as b c c b c. Okay. How many operations I have done over here? One, two, three. So our resultant number of coins is three. So this is what we are supposed to do in in our question. And after analyzing all the test cases, we should get the maximum number of possible coins. Maximum number of possible coins. So let's discuss all other sort of examples to get the better understanding part. Okay. So let us suppose that the value of s over here is a a a a a and b. So now what will be my operation? At first, I'll take this a b. I'll change it to b c. Okay. Then I'll take this A B. I'll change it to B C. How many operations I have performed over here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Similarly, take it suppose that that is B A A A A A. At first, I'll take this. I'll change it to C B. Then I'll take this. I'll change it to C B. Over here also, I have performed five operations. One, two, three, four, five. So see, the resultant number of points over here is five, and check the number of A is over here. That is the count of A over here. It is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So see, the, the, I can say that count of A is my answer. So now I can conclude that if this is my first case, that is if if I'm having B at the first place, or if I'm having B in the last place, I'm denoting it by the minus one. Okay. So at that time, my answer will be. Count of A, simple. It will be count of A. Now let's move to the second case. So let us suppose that my string is like this. Okay, see, this is my string. So how I can solve this problem? I am saying that this B can eat all of this A's, and this B can eat all of this A's. How? Let's see. I am just partitioning over here. So what will be my resultant? That is four times a and b and this part. That is b and triple a. So now I can say that this b will eat all of this and this b will eat all of a. Okay. How this a b will get converted to b c. Now again this and this b will get converted into c b and all of this again and again. Okay. So now see. Now I can say that in my answer. That is in my answer. Whenever I'll have a consecutive b at that time, my answer will be my answer will be Count of A, simple. Count of A. This is my second case. Now just try to combine the first and the second case. What was that? After after considering first and the second case, I may I in some cases I may have a string as like this. B A A B B B. Okay. So now see, if you consider the second case, what will be my answer? This B will eat all of this A, and this B will eat all of this A. And if you consider the first case, then This B will eat all of this A, and this B will eat all of this A. So what will be my answer? The count of A's. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is my answer. Okay. Now let's move to the last case. So now see, there will be a cases when I'll have B in between, and they are not consecutive, like this C. Okay. So what is the count of B over here? One, two, and three. Okay. And how many groups of A's are present? This is G1. This is G2. This is G3 and this is G4. So I am saying that count of B is equals to three. 
and group of A's are 4. Now try to get my point. Currently, I am standing at this position. Okay. So now this B can eat this A's or this A's that is G1 or G2. Similarly, this B can eat G2 or G3. By eating, I meant to say like this. Breaking down. AB will get broken down into BC. Again, this AB will get broken down into AB. Okay, like this. Now, I am at consider that I am at this position that is at the third B. Now, again, I can say that this B can eat either G3 or G4. So, what will be the way to eat? Okay, I know that it is in the given in the question that we should solve this question in such a manner that my resultant point should be maximum. My resultant point should be maximum. So, see, what can be the possible combinations of getting eaten? Okay, this B may eat this one. So, let us suppose that this B is eating this one that is G1. This is eating this one G2 and this is eating G3 G3 what can be the other way one plus G3 plus G4 G2 plus G3 plus G4 okay now I'm saying that G1 plus G2 plus G4 this all can be the four possible combinations of getting eaten by all these bees okay what are the values what are the values it is 4 over here it is 3 over here it is 2 over here it is 1 over here G1 plus G2 plus G3 is gonna be 9. G1 plus G3 plus G4 is gonna be 7. This is gonna be my 6. And this is gonna be my 8. What's the maximum out of this? 9. Okay. Over here I can see that I have chosen all the maximum values over here. And as, the, as G4 was the minimum, so I haven't included that over here. So now what I can say is that I'll just take all these 4 values, sort them in ascending order, that is increasing order. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll exclude the first element as it is the minimum over here and I'll take the sum of all these three elements and simply print it out and simply print it out. So this is my third case. Now let us have a test case including all the cases like B, A, A, B, A, A, B, B, A, B. These A's will be get eaten by either this or this. This will get eaten by either this or this. This will get eaten either by this or this. And what will be my answer? As all A's are getting eaten by either of the B's. My answer will be count of A. That is 5 over here. So yeah. This was my approach. Now let's move to the coding part. See initially I have declared check as my false. Because I am going to check for the first and the second case. That is if I am having B in my first place or in the last place. Or if I am having two consecutive B's or not. This is what I am doing over here. And if I am having that then I am declaring check as my true. So at that time what we were doing. We were just printing out the count of A. That is the count of A. This length is maintaining the count of A over here and at that time we were printing out simply and we were returning our answer. That's it. Okay. So now see this is our third case when we were, when we were having B's in between and they were not consecutive. So I have declared a vector just to store the count of A's over there. Initially I declared my length as 0 and I am checking for A. Okay. See. Okay. So my Initially my i will be here, so it so my length will be 1, 2, 3, 3. Now currently I am b at b. This condition will get false. Now I'll come over here. If length is equals to if length is not as equals to 0, that means that b's are not consecutive. I'll simply push back my 3 over here. Like this. Okay. And I'll redeclare my length as 0. Then again, I'll keep on doing this. I'll reach over here, I'll add 2. Now see, this is my last condition. Okay, that is. Currently, I am at this position, that is, I am at my last element and my length is not as equals to 0. This means that I am not having B in my last place. So, I will add count over there. Okay. I am done with this. Then, I am just sorting it out. I am just sorting it out. What will be my answer? It will be like 2, 2, 3. Okay. I have sorted it out. As there are 2B, so this 2B can only consume 2 groups of A's. Okay. So, I am just excluding it out. And adding these two elements and returning my answer as 5. I am just excluding the 0th element. And I am adding first and the second element over here. And this is my answer. Okay. So this was our solution guys. I hope you understood all the concepts and the logic over here. Okay. So if you really understood all the concepts and the logic over here. Then like our video, subscribe our channel and share this with your friends who are participating in all this code forces and lead code rounds and all. Okay. So thank you for watching and have a good day.